we extended the back of the house downstairs by um, two and a half metres, building a big, great big um, open plan family area. So, uh, as part of that, it was decided we'd uh, redo our Lego storage. And the plans progressed and we worked out the cupboards and I'm saying that we haven't even bought the cupboards. That trip's to come. Well, first of all, ish, we had to work out our Lego. What have we got? What needs sorting out and how best to store it? Now, Previous to this, or right now, uh, the what, what I'm going to call the, the Legacy Lego, which is all the Lego that we owned that wasn't in sets already, so bits have gone missing, it all been broken down, uh, and that includes Lego going back to when I was a child. It was in big boxes, and we'd sorted it into 16 drawers plus a box of bits various things um, so it needs sorting so we can have a look at it uh, this video is quickly going to cover how we're going about it now first of all we need to identify what Lego we've got this bag here includes Lego it's not even out of the box yet. There's a Millennium Falcon, as you can see. And then also in there is a Lego City Trains and a Lego City Train Station. But of course that's not everything. We've also got sets that are in these bags here. A minute. There we go. You can see instructions and all the bits. Sometimes not too much. There's some Lego friends. Sometimes panda bits. Um that's a bag, sorry. That's a bag. Yep, that's a large Lego bag. It's literally full. full. Next to it, an IKEA bag. It's literally full. It includes my entire Lego collection that's not legacy bits. So, um, quite a lot of these. Um, minifigures off the front of uh, Lego Star Wars magazine. Don't know. Uh, there's a the um, Lightyear set that you may have seen Harlan building. Um, Lego City uh, Space current sets. There's about four bags of those. So this, these are all the bags that are in sets. These are your stretch drawers. There's the back with the Lego on it, and um, we got more. We'll show you how we're actually sorting through all our Legacy Lego. Just give me a moment. And just when you think you found all Lego, uh, what's this? It's a box of instructions. Oh, good anyway. There's a Lego head there. That is a, I believe it's a space center, launch site, whatever. We've got no instructions for that. Need to find instructions for that. And this is basically another IKEA bag full of Lego. Oh, if only that was everything. Right, 
So this is the extension to the house. That's the old kitchen. Um, where we're going to be consolidating all our Lego into. This end will be the sofa and the TV. This will be the TV. But the other end is where we're putting our Lego. Um, and to do that, as I said b before, we will be sorting Lego, or we are in the process of sorting Lego. Now, I don't know how other people sort Lego. I've checked out some YouTube videos and seen all kinds of ways of doing it. Well, we found the best way of doing it is child labour. So here they are. Now, this is day two of sorting all our old Lego, the ones that you haven't already seen in sets, in boxes and bags. So, Lego goes from this box over here, which Edson's currently got his head in, this box over here, into these boxes down here. Now we have got, oops, up inside. Let's track where we are. Here is your classic eight studs, two and three studs, um, base plates, flats, cupboards from the 1970s or 80s, whenever they made those. Um, this is all the broken down sets from going back to when I was a child and also when James, the older brother, was a child. And some of the spots that uh, Edison and Lovedon have lost the bits for and have been broken down. Oh, here's Harlan. We've got three, well, actually four. But we actually have five. You but broke. One's out. Well, there's there's a chain. train that I built. No, we haven't broken the chain that you built. No, this is, no the red one, the Hogwarts Express. I've no, that's not this set. This is James's Hogwarts Express. You'll find them bits for. Your Hogwarts Express. No, you is shattered your, mine inside yeah, the bag. It, it's in the bag upstairs, yeah. Now, we had previously sorted all our Lego into colour. Only now are we realising what a mistake that was. <laughs> so, we're broken, we've decided the best approach for us is to break these down into type of bricks or in some cases yeah, basic categories. Colours are relevant because when we're making it we're just looking for the bits. How's it going? This is what you can see here about eight drawers of Lego. We have another eight drawers of Lego to go. And this is day two. We'll be going into day three shortly. We will update you, um, not only on the sorting logo, Lego but the cupboards that will be going Lego in here, and the then filing of all this Lego, and all the Lego that you've already seen in the other little bits of video that are just preceding this bit, because they're all going somewhere on that wall.